The Lisa discovery has completely changed the exploration outlook offshore Guyana. Located in the Stabroek block, which was awarded to Exxon back in 1999, the license was renewed in 2005. And it's interesting to note that until 2016, when the Lisa well was drilled, this whole area was surrounded by a series of dry wells with a couple of key wells, the Avery and NCO1 well, which had encountered Senomanian Turonian source rock indications. And how does it all work? Well, it all started back in the early Cretaceous during the South Atlantic rift phase when there was compression, erosion, uplift, which formed the Berbice Canyon. This was followed in the late Cretaceous by the equatorial drift phase, during which there was a major transgression and the Senomanian Turonian world-class Kanja source rock was deposited. Soon after, there were a series of pulses of turbidite channels during the drift phase, during the post-drift phase, and it was in these turbidite channels that the reservoir was deposited. The bypass is created by a channel, a muddy channel, which cuts right across the whole of the fan complex and actually gives you a bypass between the shelf sands and the slope channel sands. So how big is it? This is huge. 1.4 billion barrels of oil in place is calculated with additional potential in the Snowek well, the Discovery Snowek well, the Payara Discovery. There are additional um, prospects, the Ranger, which is a carbonate buildup on the basement high, and Plus, we have our own independent evaluation which calculates over 20 billion barrels of oil in place. So if this is of interest to you, please contact one of our representatives. Thank you.